Namaste and Tashi Dele to you all who's watching this show. I'm going to get ready to show you how to make kimchi. And right now I have four cabbage that I'm getting ready to work with. And here's the size of the cabbage that I have. And what you do is you cut it in half like this. So I've got it, cut it in half and then cut all the pieces into, cut the cabbage into four pieces. And there's that. And, and you have this part right here that you, that's where you cut it. And now I've got it into four pieces. To make it faster, I've already cut three of my cabbage and it's in my sink right there. And after I cut my cabbage, then I wash it. I fill up, you can use a bowl or a pot, and I just dunk my, the pieces that I've already cut, and I wash the leaves like that and massage in between the leaves and like that. I'm going to use the same container that I used to rinse my cabbage with. And what you do is you need a salt now. And I get this salt. I buy it at Whole Foods. And you have your leaves that you bring. And on individual leaf, you want to sprinkle it with salt. And you keep doing that. And when you lay it on the bottom, you want to... The first layer, lay it like this way, and then the second layer, you want to lay it this way, and the third layer, you want to lay it this way, and maybe sideways, but pretty much whatever you can do to fit your cabbage pretty good in your container that you have. So I've got that. I'm going to let you see what it looks like in there. I've got a layer and a half done, and you just want to keep doing that. And you don't have to bring your cabbage up high like this. I just wanted to show you how to do it. But you can pretty much do it. Put, put, set your cabbage down on the, on the bottom of the pot and sprinkle salt like that. And then um, randomly as you're doing it, you want to massage your leaves as you're doing it. You want to massage it in there. Um, I've got already salt already on these to make things move faster since we're videotaping it. But pretty much when you're in here, you sprinkle individually with salt and you want to let it sit in here for about 12 hours to let the you know, process of bringing all the water out from the leaves. By putting the salt, that's what you're doing. And then um, and then you want to sprinkle a little bit of salt on the top. Okay. And then when you let it sit for 12 hours, and then when you, you can taste a little bit of the, uh, the leaf to see how salty it is. And if it's too salty for you, you can rinse the leaves. Um, you know, just according to whatever taste that you like. So now I'm done massaging it, and then you want to get something that fits uh, uh, inside of your inside of your pot. You don't want something that's like a lid to where you can't press it down. Just uh, big enough so that way it will fit inside of your pot. So that way, when you press it down with something heavy, you will keep pressing and pressing, and eventually, I'm thinking this lid will go halfway and leach out all the water and your leaves will be pretty much drowning and immerse in the water. Um, so some people put heavy stone on top of this. I have a empty juice jar that I fill three fourths of the water because when it does start moving, you don't wanna fill it all the way to the top and, it's, and the water ends up spilling. So I've got it three fourths. You can put it halfway if you're comfortable with that. And you just set it on top of here and I'm going to leave this for 12 hours and let it press 
on the leaves and take out the water out of the uh, the leaves. We're making we're done with the part one of making kimchi. Uh, as soon as this is done with the process of bringing out all the water out of the leaves within 12 hours, we'll be making the part two. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you enjoy making your kimchi. Thank you for watching. So I'm getting ready to prepare the second part of making our how kimchi. By the time we get back after 12 hours, see there's water by pressing, all the waters come out of it. And I'm gonna lift this, and you see all the water that's come out of the cabbage, and that's what you want. Just cut it up like this. Cut them all into a bite size. That way it's easy to work with. To make things faster, I've already cut up all the cabbages into little pieces. And I'm gonna show you what to do next. I forgot to show you that actually when you take the cabbage out of the pot, you have to squeeze it. So that way when you get ready to cut it into bite size, you don't want it to make a big mess on your cutting board. So what you do is you, you squeeze it out like, a, like you would squeeze out the water out of your clothes. Okay, and then you would cut it into a bite size. I had one more that I had saved up so I could show you that, because that's very important so you don't make a big mess on your cutting board. So there's that. So now I have cut that all out and I'm gonna move that out. You have your cabbage that you have cut up into a Next bite step size. Is to put garlic and ginger that I have made into a paste. Just throw that in there. And then you, t and then you have uh, pepper ground pepper, and you sprinkle that on there. And then you want to wear a glove to mix this because it's gonna get on your hand and you don't wanna, and then you just kind of mix that up. Mix that up real good. Okay, you wanna mix it up. You want to mix it up real well so that way the ginger and garlic and pepper gets all over the cabbage. We have to squeeze at it, get some of that juice out of the cabbage. And then when you're done, you just pick one of them up and you take to see if there's enough salt. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper. You can just you know, taste it and see if it's to your liking and it needs a little bit more. You know, start out by just adding a little at a time in the beginning. So that way you can um, you know, add more. But if you put too much pepper at first, then you can never go back. So you wanna start out you know, very slowly and inch your way up to the spice level that you like. And same thing with salt, you know, if you like things not too salty, start out with a little salt and inch your way up to your liking. And I think this is good. Okay, so I'm gonna take another taste bite with the tester. Hmm, it's just perfect. So my next step after I have my mixed up all the to fill it up. I have these jars. You can save all your empty jars from, from sometimes I save my like sauce. spaghetti sauce. Like this and one, once you're done with the spaghetti sauce. sauce, I rinse it out and I save these for my kimchi jar. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stuff our cabbage in here. And you do it like this, just stuff it all in there. Okay, and I have a helper tool that we can use. So right now we're just 
put that on the side and then stuff the other jars with it. And the trick with this is you really want to push down on your uh, cabbage because you want the juice to come out of it. So you push it down. Some of the jars that have wider mouth, you can fit your wrist and your hand in there and kind of push at it, you know, like this one is doing. And you see all the juice coming out, you see, out of it. And let me see if I can do it to this. This one has a smaller mouth on top, so it's a little bit harder. So you just kind of put your push down with your fingers. So you see how much I push down on it. So I've got more room now to fit more cabbage in. So I'm going to fill it up with just a little bit more. You don't want to fit it all the way to the top. You want to leave some space to add in some liquid from the pot that we had when we took the cabbage out, the leftover from 12 hours of uh, And then we fit, I've got a small jar that I'm going to fill up. And you can make kimchi with all kinds of vegetables. You can use um, daikon radish, you can use mustard greens, just about any vegetables. You can make it into a kimchi or ferment. So now what we're going to do is we're going to I have some juice in these, so I'm going to pour it into my other jars, the juice. Just that, so I can get rid of that one and pick up these little... Okay, so here's this one. Keep pushing it a little bit. And here's this little jar. Pushing it up down. And then, okay. Where's the door? What? I think it's a Tell Michael. So here's my three jars that I have. And as you can see, um, I need to add a little bit more liquid because you pretty want, much want all of these cabbages underneath the liquid. So I had leftover liquid from the cabbage leaf that I was pressing, so I saved that. And uh, so I'm going to pour that in here because don't fill it all the way to the top because what happens is when you let this ferment for three days, the pressure is going to build up and it's going to push the cabbage up. So you want to leave some space on top about this much so that way you give it room for the pressure to build up. And if you fill it all the way to the top, then when you leave it out for three days, it will spill over and it will make a big mess on your kitchen counter. So don't fill it up all the way to the top and you're done with this. So you just put the lid. And you let it sit out, room temperature, for three days. And you can eat it after three days. That is it, part two. And actually, we're done with I really making enjoyed kimchi. making kimchi with you. I hope you enjoy making your kimchi. Thank you for watching.